Yes, they do. And no, they don't. Grüezi miteinander, Gregory von Leberstag hier. Before we get started, I have a gift for you. A 30-day kettlebell challenge for free. Check the first link in the description. Do kettlebell swings burn belly fat? Well, yes, they do on one side and no, they don't. When it comes to belly fat, one thing that is important is your caloric input. In other words, it is more important what you eat, what goes down here, then how many swings that you do. You can do a thousand swings and then mess it up with one bad meal. A lot of people think that they can spot reduce fat, which means if I train my abdominal area, then the fat layers that are above this muscle that I'm training right now will burn or I will be able to reduce them. Unfortunately, this is not possible. Another thing that you have to understand is the muscle groups that the kettlebell swing trains. The kettlebell swing focuses mostly on your hips. As you can see, the power is coming from my posterior chain or my rear legs. And yes, my abdominal area is engaged, but rather in a static sense. So this is the no part why I would say the kettlebell swings do not directly at least burn fat layers that are around your stomach area. Another important part that you want to remember is that your body decides by itself which layers of fat and which fat reserves will burn first. However, as you might remember from the introduction of the video, I also said yes, kettlebell swings do burn belly fat. And now I make the distinction. They contribute to the amount of calories that you are burning. And if you burn more calories and you make sure that you eat a little bit less stuff that comes inside here, then the kettlebell swing can help you achieving a calorie deficit and therefore your body will start burning layers of fat. We have established that the kettlebell swing trains your posterior chain, the muscles right here, hamstrings, glutes, and lower back. Now these are the biggest muscles, especially the glutes, are your biggest muscles in your body. And if you move your biggest muscles on a continuous basis, you will burn more calories and therefore adding to the calorie deficit. Let's compare this with a biceps curl. Now this movement also burns calories. Every movement that you do burns calories, but it's a small muscle. And since I'm only training a small muscle, the calories that I burn in the workout are probably not as huge. Compared to a kettlebell swing, the biceps curl doesn't get a lot of return on your investment. And you have to imagine when it comes to burning belly fat, we want to use the stock exchange, for example, or bonds or whatever have you. Let's say you invest $100 with me. And now I'm telling you, okay, listen, we have this stock option that will give you 10% return on your investment. And then you say, well, Gregory, that sounds awesome. That sounds awesome. Cool. Let's do it. But then I present you with another stock option where I say, listen, here you get 25% return on your investment. Now, which one would you choose? Of course, the one that yields more returns. And with exercises and especially exercise selection, it's the same thing. Now I want to share two master tips that you have to follow in order to get rid of your belly fat as fast as possible. Tip number one, do compound movements or ballistic exercises with the kettlebell. Because we've talked about it, they give you a lot of return on investment. So exercise number one would be a swing. Exercise number two would be a clean and press. Now I have the whole body involved. And exercise number three would be a snatch. Even more engagement of all muscles in the body, which equals or yields more calories burned. Master tip number two, make healthy food as accessible as possible. What we use with our clients, and I use it myself, is this. These are done for you meals. This brand is called Löwenanteil. In English, it's called Lion Share. I'm not sponsored by them, and I'm, I don't even know if they ship to the States, but here's what they do. 
They make it easy for me to get a healthy meal and it's done in three minutes. I add some veggies on top and I got great nutrients, great proteins, great fiber content, and this helps me to follow a specific and healthy diet. There is a definite pattern in people who choose to eat healthy or choose a fitness-related diet. Number one, it is high in protein. So when we buy groceries, you see a lot of protein in there. Not just meat, doesn't even have to be meat, but it can also be, for example, high-protein yogurt or less uh, cheese with less fat, but higher protein. Nowadays, we have a lot of products that have added their intake in protein because there's actual demand, which I really love. Second of all, we don't eat a lot of carbohydrates or what I like to say is just energy suppliers. The reason is simple. If I don't train, I don't need a lot of additional energy. So I cut my carbohydrates a little bit down because it's the one macronutrient that you can take or reduce in a very sophisticated and easy manner without depriving yourself of necessary nutrients. And what we also see in our diet is complex carbohydrates. That's rice, that's maybe uh, dark bread and whatever have you. And of course, a lot of veggies, which deliver a lot of nutrients on a very low calorie basis. And the final thing that you see in a healthy diet is avoiding so-called red light foods. For example, for me, a red light food is peanut butter. I've stopped buying it because I cannot behave like a responsible adult around peanut butter because I eat the whole glass in a sitting if I am allowed to. On the other hand, what I like to consume once a week are orange light foods. These are foods that I know I have to be careful when I consume them, but I can also tell myself to stop. Here's the next thing that you have to do, like the video. Consider subscribing, share it with a friend, and if you made it this far, consider joining the house of stock and become a labor stock member. Exclusive ad-free follow-along workouts, exclusive challenges, exclusive skill courses, access to the full library, and additional courses at no extra charge. It's the Netflix of kettlebells. So sign up right here.